to this charity. So yeah, if you if you want to contribute, again, it can be five quid. I'm not fast. Um, then I would really appreciate it. My PayPal for it is Jana Santana at hotmail.com. Um, I wonder if I can pin it as a comment. I'm not too sure how to do that. I'm not. I don't think I can write it in like a bio, but I'm pretty, pretty sure I can pin it. Um, have I got any of my mods in here? How is London in regards to dating? Pfft, you tell me. I haven't dated in London for ages. I actually don't really date. I'm really over it. Mm. But yeah, I just felt like I wanted to do it. You know, I feel like it's one of those things where you never know. One in two people they say now are getting cancer. Um, you never know if you're going to be someone to get it. And imagine your child getting cancer. That's got to be one of the worst things ever. The least I feel like people can do is donate at one point in their hair for those kids that survive cancer and are insecure and want something to make themselves feel normal again. So it's just hair, isn't it? It's just hair. It'll grow back. Um, God, the amount of fake accounts. Lol, their name, Jana.Santana, is and doesn't say anything else. Oh, you sad little fuck. Bye. Um, yeah, I don't know where the freaking Jesus my mods are at. Um, oh, Anthony, I'm really sorry to hear that. Yeah, so this is going to be for kids up until the age of 24. So that's who obviously gets a chance to apply for these wigs. Um... So, yeah, it's mainly aimed at kids. Like, you see pictures of the kids. Like, for instance, all of these kids that are on here, they're all wearing wigs. Like, they're really good wigs. Like, even this boy's afro is a wig. It's really, they're really good wigs. So, yeah, they're going to take my hair and then I'm going to donate the money, half the money, to pay towards um, making the wig. There's a whole thing on it. Like, it shows you the whole process. It's really good. Mm -mm -mm. You've got to wonder, who would it be that's so triggered by me that they would make five fake accounts to come on here and be like, I'm going to get you banned? Like, are you an ex-boyfriend? Did I reject you? I mean, let's be serious, it's probably one of those. But, like, yeah, crazy. I love your lips. Thanks. I paid good money for them. <laughs> Five, since I've been on, in like the last 25 minutes, I've had five fake accounts all being like, you carry on swearing, you're going to get banned. Like, swearing's a fucking crime. Um, crazy. Even though I rarely drink, I like to donate every time I drink, because if I can afford alcohol, I can afford to donate. Love that. Old wigs made of real hair. The one... <laughs> made of real hair. The one accent lord above <laughs> um so yeah they are made from real hair people donate their hair i think it takes like six bundles to make one wig um so yeah tyrese if you want to hold on let me see if i can reply to you and then pin it let me do that okay so i don't know if i'm allowed to write this in i'll just an email it's fine so I'm going to reply to you my PayPal email and then I'm going to pin it. But I know it doesn't, doesn't last very long. I think it lasts like a minute. Um, don't know why it keeps on going. How strange. Um, another day, another sleigh. Cheers, girl. Um, but yeah, my email, my PayPal email is there. So if you do want to donate to charity then everything is... And once you do, I'm going to go on, obviously, and have a look and then write your name in this little book. To be honest, I think you can get banned for swearing live if people report it. That's actually crazy. Imagine being in such a soft world where saying the word shit gets you banned. That's everything I don't like about PayPal. Pay uh, PayPal, that's everything I don't like about TikTok is TikTok is so, like... I thought Insta was bad with the whole, like, free the nip, but... Like TikTok is next level, and I know they're doing it to protect kids, but I see some accounts where I'm like, "What the actual hell are they doing? Like, how has this account not been banned?" Um, and they don't get banned. Like, I reported a live earlier, like three times, because they were literally their bio was like, they had like a thing in their back of their live being like, "If your body count's over one, if you've had trauma." Um, if you've ever cried, like, the most random things, and then girls were coming on to these misogynistic little boys, and the guys would be like, have you ever cried? 
And they'd be like, yeah, and he'd be like, what over? And she'd be like, my period is like, we don't have weak women that complain about their periods. That's made up that women get pain from. Oh, it was actual spewing out sexist BS. Didn't get banned. I can say the word shit. Oh my God, it's bad for the kids. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Your videos help a lot. I'm going through a breakup. Oh, I know it feels like the worst thing ever. And I've been there, so... <sighs> Sorry to hear. But you will get through it. Trust me. I know it doesn't seem like it, but you will. Insta is the calmest, to be honest. It's only your followers that can see, and they rarely bad. No, when I say Insta's funny, they, they're funny. So, obviously, because I've done, like, some risque modelling, not, like, glamour, but as in, like, you know, you have stuff like a see-through T-shirt on. Any bit of nip, banned. In, like they, they they take the photos down so quickly that's what i mean by they're like on it but a lot of my friends are models and a lot of it is you know see-through sheer tops no bra like sort of editorial high fashion and they're really funny about it um fed up of these fake janners <laughs> tyrese every single time hello danny um Every time that picture gets me. But yeah, so I thought I'd come on and just sort of say hello to people. But I thought, oh, a lot of the girls message me and they're like, oh, you're too on too early. I don't see your lives in time. I've come on late tonight and no one's around. We've got like, it's really weird. Whenever I have the usuals, like what I call the locals, all the people like Tyrese aren't on. And then when Tyrese is on, it's like Tyrese and like three other people that are our regs, Katie and that lot. And then it's like Truth Teller's gone, whatever else. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to, I do you know what? as much as I'm gutted and as much as I'm like really loving my hair now and I'm like, oh, I want to keep it. I love it. I'm also like, I'm excited for a new look. Like, do I prefer long hair to short hair on me now? Yes. Do I want short hair? Not particularly, but will it be good for the summer? Yes. Is it a whole new look? Yes. Am I also dyeing it? Yes. Oh, um, so I'm very excited. It's going to be a new look and I'm gassed for that. I am gassed. I'm a late night person, that's why. Yes, I'm I. Mm. No, I'm excited. I am really excited. Hi, Lee. Oh, Lee, I see that you've got that you're a life coach in your bio now. Um, I also have started it now. So a lot of people were messaging me before and they were saying, do you do this? Like, do you do coaching? I started my coaching about two weeks ago and it's I've done no advertising and it's picked up really, really, really good. I did do a bit of it like a couple of years ago, but I've decided to pick it up full time now. I'm going to completely jack in my other job and just do the modelling and doing the coaching, mainly specialising in breakups, um, relationships. More down the route of girls that have broke, broken up with somebody, maybe abusive, that sort of thing. At the moment, I'm dealing with, I'm not going to obviously go into details, but mainly breakups. And for guys, relationship advice. And um, yeah, I'm loving it. So... Yeah, if anybody was asking me before, going, are you doing this? Is this something you're going to be pursuing? Pursuing? I am. Um, and I've started already. And you have the privilege of growing it back. Exactly. So what is giving a little bit of hair away if it's for the right reasons? My hair grows fast, so it will grow back. You go for a skin fade on the sides. I'm not going short, short. I'm going just cropped. Wow, six accounts I've now counted. <laughs> Six accounts I've had to block from the same person. That's funny. The thing is, though, you've got to think that. That's really sad. Like, six accounts. I always say everyone suits long hair, but not everyone can rock the short hair. So if you suit short... I do like um, short hair on me. I do like it. It just feels weird. I tell you what. Um, I'm going bob. I'm going for a bob. And I'm dyeing it. So, I'm excited. And I see that there's a couple of people in here who already donated, so I appreciate that. Um, I'm not going to be saying amounts, obviously, but Katie, thank you. Um, I've seen a couple of names so far that popped up. Uh, what colour are you going? I've said it before, I think, but just in case I haven't, it's going to be a surprise. Um, I really love this colour because it's like a, what, caramel brown? And I kind of wanted to keep it, and part of me was like, oh, I do really like it, but then I thought, go big or go home. If I'm cutting it short anyway, I might as well do a new colour as well. 
So, yeah, I'm gassed. And then I'm going to be on holiday, hopefully, next month. Um, so, yeah, Santana is a hoe. Lol, seven accounts, guys. Seven accounts. That is so sad. Um, so, yeah, going to be doing, hopefully, going on holiday next month. And, I, you know, like, you go on holiday somewhere hot, and you're like, oh, I want to have a new look. So I'll be like, okay, I get to do something good, like give away my hair and then have a new look. I think the Halloween bob, one of your pinned posts. Oh, what, the red hair wig? Yeah, my hair is naturally quite wavy, so like like this, but when it's short, it gets really wavy. So I think that'll look nice. Um, I think you really suit Ginger. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying anything. But I'm saying something. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to try a new look. I was thinking, like, oh, yeah, stay this light brown, go for, like, a caramel. But, yep, um, I'm excited. Do you know what's even crazier? Is that this person who's now made seven fake accounts is clearly getting blocked, coming off TikTok, making a new account, coming back on. That's time. That is time and that is effort. My earrings, these are H&M. Are you French? <laughs> this is the least French accent you will ever hear. No, please. Yeah, seven accounts. And I guarantee we will have a lot more. Like, I don't ever like to take the piss out of people's mental health, but I do look at that and think, if you are the kind of person to make seven fake accounts using my name just to try and get my life banned, like, there's something not right with you. Um... No, as in, my, are my parents French? No. Bro's got a thousand emails ready. He's got 18 laptops and he's just like, 